Field level action and data security has an ability to actually set up data once and then reuse in multiple companies. Right now, the only thing that has been done in here is actually there has been set up some uh, roles inside the Kronos International work in here. And that's, that's a fair amount of them in here. Um, some of them in here say that they actually copied uh, from the setup company. And I can see down here that I actually have uh, no copy set up for that one because I had no. If I click on this one, I have a copy set up in here uh, of when it actually was last copied. And if I didn't want to copy that one, I could actually uncheck this one in here. But I've done these changes and I really want to have some of this one available for all my companies to be published to in here. So what I want to do is take these changes and put them in my general or install company so I can actually go ahead and uh, publish them to my other companies or push them to my other company in here. So uh, I now open up the other company and if I look at field level security I can see I don't have anything in here. And then I can say I want to copy all from a company and there's only one company that have uh, data available and I can see two of them in here is available to copy. There's six that are already copied and a total of eight actually in there. So if I click OK here, um, oh, I wanted to try copy all of them. So I want to copy uh, from a company and I just want to override existing ones. And then I will go in and say I want to copy my basic role. And I want to copy my other basic role down here. I now have an issue because I have the same name actually both places. So one of the things I probably want to do is get rid of them in the other uh, company actually over there. And um, before I actually copy the data. But I also had some security codes and I didn't have anything so I can copy all from another company in here. And it inserted all three records for me. This of course takes uh, all the objects and all the information that is below associated with this one and copy it in here. I could even go ahead and actually copy my user security setup. Uh, so, and uh, I can go in here and um, set up user security setups for my most generic ones. So I could go ahead and say, yeah, I want to have my blank uh, for 15 setup in here. And I probably even want my security code in here sales only. Um, I want to have my 17, again read only, and uh, I also want sales in this one, and this one didn't stick for some reason. Um, I can go in and say in my customer table, I want read only. In my uh, customer ID entries, my sales header, and my uh, sales line in here. So I can go ahead and apply all these ones, and I could also go apply data security. But this one is really the most restrictive one and I don't want to sit and maintain that for each company. So I can also set that up in this company in here. And um, this one is uh, now created. I have both my field level security, my data security codes uh, set up in here. If I wanted to push that to my other companies, I go in here and say copy data between companies and this one is the install company so from here I'm actually pushing it to the other ones and this one will give me an error here that a security already exists and that's really because I did something in uh, the company uh, work and you can see the company name in here Kronos International Work it actually gave me that error up here that uh, it was trying to push some data and it already existed over there so let's go just ensure that we don't have that data over there and then we can do it. So let's go here and select the company. And uh, all I can do in here, I can just say yeah, all these ones up here. I can delete those ones because that's some of the data I'm trying to push. And then I can do the those two in here. And I'm also deleting all these ones because all these ones are going to be uh, pushed from the live comp or from the install company in here. So um, I can now switch back to my other company, the Easy Security Company.
And now I should be able to just simply go in and say uh, copy data to the other company. So I have two news and those six are updated and I have some other down here and I don't have any problems with it. So this one allows me now in the future to actually uh, do this one. This issue about having the naming and, some, and that one, one key way of doing it could be that I actually, if I created one in here, in my uh, international work company, let's say I went down and created another data security code for 18 down here, I could actually just call it uh, local or something like that one, and then this one would, for example, be Birmingham. And uh, the, this one would be Birmingham. And I could go look at my objects and then uh, say that I want pages. And I could actually copy from another one and I can say this London one is really, really close. Um, so what I'm actually going to do instead of London, I'm just going to put in uh, Birmingham in here, for example. So when I now have uh, my new code in here, I do it in this company because I have data and I can test that everything actually works right. I want to put that part of the push, so uh, I have to go to my other company here, the EC Security one. Go to my data security codes and say uh, <clears throat> copy from a company. And that's the one I want to copy from. And I want to copy that local Birmingham down here. So one record was inserted. And then I can go down and say this one, I want to edit this list. And instead of calling it local Birmingham, I'm actually now just calling it Birmingham. And as I do that one, I don't have a conflict any longer. So I can actually go to my um, setup, copy the data between companies. And I have one new data security added. And if I switch to the other company, I'll see that I now have a Birmingham and a local Birmingham. And I can go ahead and say, if I don't need this any longer, I can actually uh, delete this one in here. One of the key features of this copying is that it actually locks it down. So when I have this copy from, I can go in here and look at the objects. And let's say I want to add another one in here for form zero. You would give me the error that, hey, you can't do that one because it's actually copied uh, from another place in here. So let's say I want to delete that line again. I don't want to have that one. So if I go here and I try to add another field in here, I'll get the same error that it's locked down. You can't change this one. It's getting pushed from another company. So that's really ensuring that everything actually stays the same when you have uh, these ones that have this copied from another company in here. It makes it very, very easy to set up an additional company now because if I actually go in here and say I want to select my Kronos International company and there's no field level accident data security in here, you can see there's no codes, I can actually go in and say, okay, I want to set this up. I want to um, insert my company where I have the install, and then I want to say copy from setup companies. And when I now copy data between companies, I'm actually only pulling the information in here. I'm not pushing it. Uh, so now I have all the data was now populated. So I can see all my user securities are field level security is in here. So that's a very easy way now to maintain multiple companies. So if I go back here to easy security, for example, and I go in and say, yeah, I want to set up a new data security code in here. And it should be 18. Uh, it could be uh, domestic. And I want to look at my objects. I want to look at the page. And I want to go down here and say my customer posting group. should have a hidden filter for blank or domestic out here. And I can then go and say, yep, that's my new one. And as I here go and copy data between companies, 
In the Kronos International, it add the new data codes. In the oh, the other one was work. This one is international. It add the new data security code also, and this data has now been pushed out there. So I can go take a look at it in Kronos International. Look at my data security codes, and of course I have my new domestic down here, and I can look at my objects. I didn't really do anything with pages, so let's go fix that one again in the easy secure or with forms. So I want to look at my data security codes and this domestic. I want to look at objects. I want to add a new one. It should be the type form, and I want to copy the details from my domestic page down here, and it automatically copies all the filters for me. So I now have these two, and again I want to update my company so I have the most current setting out there. So it now, it didn't add anything, but it updated all of them in both companies in here, <clears throat> and I'm actually done with it here. So this copy feature allows you to maintain easy security very easily across many different companies because you keep it here in a central location and you just push the data. You probably don't want to maintain all your users, but you want to maintain the blank one in here. So if I wanted to do my new domestic in here, I could actually go in and say, yeah, I want to add it that one. So if I don't do anything, my users will only see my domestic customers actually in here. And you probably want to do the same in the custom like entries and things like that. But uh, this one would be very easy uh, way of maintaining multiple companies. I changed it again in here, so I should copy this data in here. So now updated my six user security setups. So, so I keep all the codes for field level and data security common, and I keep the blank users common. But I will go in the individual companies and then add the users I actually need to open up for that need more permissions in here. So. Uh, 